That is terrifying. That is Shailene Woodley in a drift. And it's a true story again and uh, very scary. So where are you when that's, is that's not obviously Air real? Air in the eye of the storm. No, that was, that was a CGI wave because, I mean, I don't even know if Navy SEALs can go in, into, into that storm. Um, that wave, though, is the actual size of the wave that these people encountered. They were between 60 and 100 feet, which is insane. I mean, you see that, and you're like, oh, Hollywood film, but that, it is based on reality. It's, oh, my it's God. So next level. That is great. And it's hard to wrap your mind around. Were you actually on the ocean at all, or were you in a... We filmed over 90% of the movie in the open sea. So we would get up at, like, 4 a.m., go through hair and makeup, and then motorboat out for about two hours sometimes into the middle of the ocean where we could see no land anymore and spend 12 hours on a boat. And was that terrible? It, it was terrible sometimes. The, uh -huh. the days where everyone got seasick and couldn't stop puking, t th those were not fun days. Um, when it was a little bit rough, people would just get sick. Yeah, well, yeah. the first day we went out to sea, we got to the boat, we watched the sunrise, it was beautiful. Sam Claflin and I were taking photos and you know celebrating the life. And two hours into it, we, everybody, except for our director and our cinematographer, conveniently, was just, they were gone. We were gone. Can you act when for you're hours. vomiting? I mean, is it possible to no. do both of those things? There was no hair and makeup. I mean, I remember they were like, sound, roll, roll sound. And the sound guy was like, woo. And then they were like, uh, makeup, we need to touch up. And she's like, woo. It was just, they were like, uh, rolling, woo. Action! You do the scene and cut and back to it. It was messy. This has got to be a hell of a But we got to know each other really have. well. <laughs> you probably hear people throwing up, but if the sound guy's throwing up, you would definitely hear that, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, we... Yes. And then when you're throwing <laughs> up, and I don't want to get too disgusting, but when you're um, vomiting, do you then, like, fish come up to eat it, like sharks <laughs> and stuff? Because I'm going to tell you that's happened to me before. Oh, my God. Oh yeah, I threw up. I threw up in a kayak. Is that your fish bait? You just, you just. <laughs> well, it, well, it turned out to be. Yeah, I threw up in a. Um, I threw up all in snorkeling. In a kayak. I threw up in a kayak. You got seasick in a kayak. I went on a whale watching trip with my daughter. It was an Indian princesses trip. Daddies and daughters. <laughs> uh huh. Three hundred fifty people on and a you boat. You were the only one sick. I was the only one. Oh no. <laughs> It was a humiliating experience. Did I had to go down below. Did that make other people sick then? Because sometimes that happens, the trickle No one else of... got sick. My friend Larry had to watch my daughter all day. <laughs> <laughs> and you got to know the toilet very intimately. I got sick snorkeling with nothing on my body, just floating Do you think it's a secret up. fear? Like it's anxiety sickness more than it's actual seasick? I think I that's mean, part of it. Seas getting sick snorkeling. It le Ocean the lead sickness. up, when you think about it, going into it, I think is a big factor, right? The anxiety. Because I'm getting sick right now talking about <laughs> it. Where's the bucket? <laughs> I'm not kidding. I can conjure up uh, motion sickness yeah, just by talking. Now. Are you typically, like, could you go on the teacups at Disneyland or something yeah, like I that? I grew up on boats, so I was like, I got this movie. This is going to be easy. And Do you know how to sail one, a boat? I could sail a boat now. You could, oh, from the from doing, doing the, movie. the movie. Before the movie, I had zero sailing experience. Uh, I was the girl who would go on a sailboat and open the beers for all my friends, and then kind of. Well, that's chill important. In the back. That's an important it's job. It's a good too. job. It's a really important job. Um, but and now, after doing the movie, I feel like I could confidently. What's the trick to learning to sail? Oh God, you know it's the language. Every do you know do you know the language of sailing? Oh the, the no. The physicality is easy, but they don't say right and left. Do you know they say? Port and starboard. They don't say front and back. They say bow and stern. Oh, I would be no it's good a for me. It's completely, yeah. yeah. New I don't even know which one is downstage and which is upstage. I don't know and that I've I do either. I've been doing this show way. for 15 years. Yeah. I'm like, huh? You just know on stage. <laughs> Forward and backward is how yeah. I have to be command. Wow, that's something else. Mm. Well, this is a movie I think that you want to see in a theater for sure absolutely. because it, it appears to be absolutely harrowing. Well, it's very good to have you here. Thank you for I'm glad you me. survived your uh, ordeal. <laughs> me too. Shailene. <laughs> Woodley, everybody, a drift is the movie that opened the theaters on June 1st. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you want to be that way about it, don't.